Oh man, the things that I fear sometimes do end up happening, ladies and gentlemen. Japan is not happy with Ubisoft. Japan is not happy with Assassin's Creed and the BBC Samurai situation. So much so that the thing that I feared the most ended up happening. They have launched a petition in order to ban the game in Japan. You don't believe me? We're gonna get into it. Like this video if you think there are two genders. Dislike the video if you think there are 5,000 genders. Because you see, people have been beefing for a minute. We have been beefing for a minute. And to understand the situation, yes, okay, I would agree. I'm not gonna sugarcoat it. Yes, there is a little bit of racism involved in this one as well. Yes, absolutely. Some people would use that card and hate. Absolutely. But generally speaking, most people just one uh, uh, Japanese protagonist said because the game is set in feudal Japan right that's what people wanted but then they, they added like a BBC samurai in this one right disrespecting the Japanese culture disrespecting the black culture as well I mean you don't believe me I got a video that I want to play for you guys and show you guys what's going on uh, they're stereotyping look at that I would say this is double <laughs> racism like he's the only black guy in the game right and of course they had to make him gay of course they had to make him gay, right? So it's not just racist towards the Asian people, but it's also like they're stereotyping the black homies as well. Now think about it for a second, right? Forget about everything. Forget about everything, right? Forget about uh, everything. I'm talking about the real Yasuke. He's he's not with us, right? He's probably chilling in, in in heaven right now. He cannot come down here and defend himself. We're talking about feudal Japan. Ubisoft made him gay, bro. Like, are you actually kidding me right now? We're not talking like modern day or anything like that. It's like the same thing, right? Like maybe you watching this video, you probably maybe end up gonna do something significant. And then hundreds of years later, Ubisoft makes a game on you, right? They put you in the game and they make you gay. Bruh. Right? You won't be able to come down and defend yourself. Like what are we talking about? So this is like double disrespectful to the real Yasuke character. And, and uh, yeah, so uh, the Japanese homies, they had enough. And of course, whenever he fights, uh, yeah, the Japanese don't stand a chance in the game. And we're talking about the, the, the BBC Samurai. He's way too strong. And listen, I love the strong characters, man. But like the opponent, the opponents are not. He is buffed like crazy, bro. This is skill-based matchmaking, like this is the direct Call of Duty skill-based matchmaking coming to reality in the game, right? Look at that, look at that, he's just destroying all the Japanese on their motherland. Yeah, so of course the Japanese are gonna feel some way about it, and they surely are feeling some way about it because this is what happened. Japanese gamers launch petition to cancel Ubisoft's upcoming Ass <laughs> Assassin's Creed Shadows game. And I quote, this is a serious insult to Japanese culture and history, end quote, that's what they're saying, and they have the right, of course, uh, yeah, like, duh, and so far, uh, 16,000 signatures out of 25,000, and this has been translated from Japanese to English, where it says a call for discontinuation of Assassin's Creed Shadows, and yeah, uh, I'll, I'll actually play you this clip, and then I got a bunch of other stuff that I'm gonna show you, roll it. I've been informed that uh, they showed off Yasuke gameplay today in Assassin's Creed Shadows, and uh -oh. that when he fights, there is a hip-hop soundtrack only for him <laughs> and he goes I saw it, but wait I didn't for really it, wait see for it. it greed cannot rule this village not while I have breath in my lungs and a blade in my head I said kill him brought to you by yeah like you get in a man only what what is going on bro what the hell is going on listen i love i love the hip-hop music myself but like damn bro we talking feudal japan i mean damn okay this is what happens and we're talking about the same ubisoft that actually ended up removing a crossbow from one of their games because it wasn't historically accurate and then today this happened roller. it's been a long drawn out saga of drama for assassin's creed shadows so far it started with the announcement that they're going to be making a samurai game they're going to be yeah. replacing asian samurai with a black guy of course yep uh and then the media of course like ign here went and covered up for it uh calling all the fans racist and sexist yeah. bigots then yeah. uh it came out that they're going to push lgbtq content in this uh this wonderful of course, of course. <laughs> i can't even get through saying that uh so it's uh, not and, that it's not that they're going to be putting that content in the game they dead ass made the only two characters lgbt in the game and we're talking feudal japan bro like come on it's gotten bro. worse the developers broke down uh, i'm gonna remind you of that uh and now uh it looks like uh, they're crying foul because they're getting criticism for the game because the game looks yeah. like crap uh it is ruining the assassin's creed franchise uh, gamers hate this they know that it's going to be an epic failure 
And uh, they're trying to cover things up and play victim ahead of time is what's going on. We'll get into the news in just a moment. My name's John Delarose, everybody. I would love for you to hop on board and, and hit the like and subscribe button. Join yeah. us here as uh, we are... Like, like and subscribe. Like and subscribe. Like and subscribe. But check this. Uh, executive producer of Assassin's Creed Shadows uh, from a few <laughs> months ago. Uh, he, he he freaked out. He said, the tweet generated emotions. First thing I wanted to do is go back on X that I deleted and just tweet back. I took a step back. I have a mindfulness app on my phone. And I did a bit Bruh. of mindfulness to try to explore Bruh. the emotions this tweet created. This is all because Elon Musk... Uh, made fun of it, saying that DEI kills art, and it really does. Uh, and this is uh, this is after they made a whole thing calling fans yeah. racist for not liking this. After they doubled down on the wokeness by uh, saying that it was going to be game black. And uh, uh -huh. let's not forget the next thing that sh that showed up that we reported on over the weekend here. If you watch the video, they're now saying they're going to go so far that they're remaking all of the old Assassin's Creeds to update them for modern audiences. And you know what that means what? when they use the code word? Mo no way! Oh, what the oh what? Oh yo, so they're gonna hey 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 hey, papi papi, tranquilo tranquilo, time out. So you're saying that they're gonna be like remastering old Assassin's Creed game and they're gonna add the sauce, the spice, the special ingredient or modern gaming audience in it? <laughs> Damn, man. Oh, bruh, bruh, bruh. I mean, bruh. bruh. Uh, and check this out. So this is also what happened. Shout out to 8BE for this. Assassin's Creed Shadows is being run through the mud. A petition from Japanese gamers has actually launched on change.org that is heavily gaining steam. You can see there's over 18,000 signatures yeah. with a 25,000 gold. We saw this happen with Stellar Blade where we had petitions put out there and it made a little bit of a difference. A little bit, yeah. A little Who knows bit, what it'll do bit. with Assassin's Creed Shadow, but the main thing is Japanese gamers are turned off by the fact that we have yeah. a black protagonist by the name of Yusuke in Whoa. the game. In addition to that, when he fights and kills Asian people, hip hop music plays. <laughs> Probably one of the most tone deaf decisions I've seen from a video game developer. But the Wokies like this stuff. <laughs> Nothing makes them more happy than a black man killing a whole bunch of Asian people in their yeah. own historical landmarks and towns and everything. Yeah, like that, that's double racist right there. Bro, yeah, like what, what are we doing here? What are we talking about? That's double racist. And it's not just disrespectful to the Japanese uh, culture, but it's also disrespectful to the black culture as well. What are we talking about? They're stereotyping the living crap out of him, right? And, and the entirety of black culture. Yeah, whenever he's just look at look at him. He's walking. Look, look at look at everyone else. Look at look at the size difference. That's like first of all. Listen, man. I, I would definitely love to be six feet tall. Absolutely, six feet five, seven feet tall, like this uh, Yasuke guy. Oh, absolutely. That's not the problem. The problem is uh, look at everyone else. Look at the size difference for crying out loud. <laughs> the Japanese homies don't stand a chance against him though. They don't chance this dude. That's they Yeah. Right? And when he starts like, you know, you know, when he starts like slicing everyone up, hip hop music plays, stereotyping him, and the only black character they have, yeah, this is the only black character they got in the game, and he happens to be gay. As well. So, yeah, w what more can you ask from Ubisoft in this one, right? Like, yeah, we love you, Ubisoft, absolutely. That, the historical act. Sar sarcasm, by the way, for two people that might take it real of this is gone but you know ubisoft tried to claim in blog posts and stuff that there would be a lot of historical context i don't know they made this whole filler blog post talking about it and to me it just seems like it's damage control for their whole woke that they're trying to promote on this why do i call this woke because guys look we had a game that's going to be taking place in ancient feudal japan and they chose a black protagonist this is not me being racist but yeah come on out of all the historical figures and characters that we could have chose with Assassin's Creed, you chose to go with a black guy just to fill out a DEI checklist. Yes, guys, this was 110% to appease groups like Sweet Baby Inc. to please the woke crowd because now everything has to be about diversity. Instead of making something that Japanese players could be proud of, something that actually represents a bigger part of their culture, we would go with somebody like Yusuke who really wasn't that relevant because there's not much known about them. Is it cool that he's a black samurai and stuff? Yes. But we all know why he was put in this game. He was shoehorned in there to fill out a checkbox. And that's the as a, listen, man, forget about everything. As a brown man, I need my my representation, bro. Yeah. I need Yeah, I what? You what? What? You gonna be racist towards me too? Huh? You gonna be racist towards me too? I need my representation, bro. Can a brown man can a small ass brown man get his representation? Yeah, like bro, yeah, hey, hey, whoa! Like I want my representation too, bro. Ubisoft, where is my representation at? Yeah, yeah, everybody, say it with me. Where is my representation at? Whether you're white, purple, brown, uh, blue, purple, white, black. I mean, you guys, like, you got your representation this time. But, or, or you know what? 
the black homies come on in as well absolutely we all demand over representation why do we only just have one black guy in this game why can't we get like more than black uh more than just one black character in the game why can't we get a brown homie like me in the game or multiple brown homies in the game we want some white people in the game too or absolutely white people brown people black people everybody drop everybody right yeah forget about it yeah you're gonna you're saying that this is not historically accurate right after uh, people have uh, been trashing your game for uh, justifyingly so uh customers gamers everybody has the right to not like your product for whatever reason they have right everybody customer has the right for it okay if you like the game you you also have the right if you if you like the game go for it get it if you enjoy the game you have the right but also people that don't like what they see they also have the right right to voice their opinions in a civil way of course like you don't want to be going around sending like having proposals you don't want to be like beefing physically right like of course we have been we have been beefing 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 but we have been beefing like civilly like beefing civilly that's like fine but like don't go out there and all that yeah right but customers has the right to dislike a product for whatever reason they have okay money do not grow on trees and uh, it's all about what you like and what you don't like and it's perfectly fine to not like it or like it in the case if you do like it the problem that a lot of people have if you look at this blog post they actually say the decision to include a playable real-life historical figure of this era was twofold. Ubisoft Quebec wanted to include a samurai, and Yusuke's story was open-ended enough to allow for creativity. There's oh, still wow. plenty of questions and speculating, speculation surrounding him. So they're basically admitting there's not enough about him, and I guess that makes it a prime candidate Bruh. for them to have, <laughs> I guess, the historical accuracy, the stuff that's real happened, and then from there just go completely fictional and blow him up into some huge hero, even though there's not much known about him. So there's going to be a lot of fiction put into this game that's what allows for creativity means ladies and gentlemen oh, okay. <laughs> they said the fascinating oh facts though God, were right undisputable of african origin he arrived in japan enslaved by the portuguese he impressed with size strength and wits served under the japanese daimo oda nomanaga i always mess up my japanese nomanaga <laughs> there must have been something exceptional about yusuke to succeed in the service of a personality like nomanaga yeah he was a strong slave much bigger people of african descent are much bigger than asians so he basically was the best slave and I'm, I'm not trying to say that out of hate or anything it wasn't like he came to japan and was like praised and gifted he had to work he did a lot of labor they're going to embellish a lot of yusuke in this game they're going to make him literally like a hero of japan that's what establishing creativity is so they're saying the team explains and the goal has been to expound on this in assassin creed shadow through curiosity openness respect for values tradition valor warmth and charisma so basically moral grand and stand grandstanding everything right here they're saying players can discover japan alongside him on one okay. hand he serves as a warning uh -huh. for the colonizing threat that the portuguese present so we're we're over here painting portuguese in bad bad light they're colonizers and, and look if you think that this game's not gonna have any political stance or political commentary on it, oh, you're yeah, mistaken. Right, forget They're about literally it, yeah. gonna be using Yusuke as a tool for political commentary in this game. When mm -hmm. Assassin's Creed should be fun. Yeah, there's historical significance to it. We've had characters like Cleopatra and stuff in the past, but they're gonna be absolutely using this to try to get modern audiences happy and that it's going to be representing stuff that Damn, we see in America right now, even though it has nothing to do with America politics. They're going to absolutely interject it with here using him. So they're going to expand it. They're saying the team won't spoil how he's linked to Assassin's Creed lore. Players oh, will have to play the game to find out. So I'm betting what they're going to do is they're going to make him the oldest ancestor of Ezio. <laughs> he's going to be related to him in some form or fashion. And, and that's what it's going to be. They're, they're the only hyping him up, ladies and gentlemen, because he's a POC. He's a person of color. If this was another Asian, which for whatever reason, the Wokies don't count Asian as POCs yeah. or minorities. They, they tend yeah. to kind of just push them off to the side. Kind of weird, right? Considering this is a Japanese setting for the game. But they only give Oh, yeah. Like, that, that's the crazy part here is, uh, is that, like, it, it's a game set in Japan. So everybody was like, okay, you know what? You're a game that was set in Middle Eastern, you had a Middle Eastern protagonist. Perfectly fine, right? a game that is now set in japan therefore it needs to have a japanese protagonist but 
yeah, the, of course, they add, like, uh, a female Japanese protagonist, so who's not even that strong, right? They, ha they add a BBC samurai, which is way too strong, bro! You cannot compete with a BBC samurai, though! I'm saying that in a good way, like, that's a compliment to my BBC homies out there. I I'm brown, I have a brown BBC as well. Of course, I cannot compete with, like, a black BBC, though. Like, come on, what are we talking? Like, that's, that's like, a different skill-based matching and algorithm right there, ladies and gentlemen. Bruh. But still, I have a BBC, okay? So, yeah, I the Japanese cannot compete with it! That's the point! That's the point, they really cannot compete with it. Uh, yeah, yeah, what, what we're we talking, what we're we talking here, bruh? The fuck about Yusuke because he's black. That's, that's only why. And they've been running a little bit of interference and stuff for quite some time, you know. We have this whole fluff piece where they're trying to really praise who Yusuke is as a character. Um, in this whole, uh... Oh I my god, bro, look at, holy... <gasps> no, say you swear to god, though. Say you swear... <laughs> Okay, I did not see- I mean, I knew, like, it was getting annihilated in terms of dislikes, because, of course, uh, they are pandering, right? But I didn't know it was this bad. I guess this was, like, a developer's video where they're talking about the game as a whole, and it's- it's so weird that they're focused on him. I get it. It's your protagonist. You want to sell this game to people and stuff, but people aren't buying this. We literally have a fucking petition now because of this game, and it's yeah. directed by Japanese that. players. You can't say that there's a whole bunch of white, right-wing, Republican MAGA players. This is literally Japanese gamers that put this petition together. And <laughs> you can see, here's the translation right here. Let's yeah. go ahead and take a look at the translation whoa, whoa, of it. Hey, hey. It says, recently lack- Okay, so 6,000 people did sign today, it says, okay? Oh, man. Uh, after all of- uh, after everybody covered the story, I think it's definitely gonna have more signatures. Of historical accuracy and culture res respect have been a serious problem for game developer Ubisoft, which is scheduled to release Assassin's Creed Shadows. This game is based on the Samurai of Japan, ignoring the fact that the Samurai is the upper class of Samurai class and should be, or a person who serves you. In fact, William Adams, the first European to receive the title Samurai, was the one who served Takugawa Iyasu as the flag book for 250 stoning. In such history, Ubisoft continues to misunderstand the essence and role of samurai. This is a serious insult to Japanese culture and history and can lead to racism in Asia. We call on Ubisoft to immediately discontinue the launch of Assassin's Creed Shadows and show sincere research and respect for Japanese history and culture. I need your autograph. Sign this petition to inform Ubisoft of the importance of cultural respect and historical accuracy. So this is somebody... I, I ask you immediately to not release the game. I'm paraphrasing, but that's what it says. Damn, though! Damn! I mean, they're not even like, just change the protagonist, make it more like, you know, what, what's this called, like, organic to Jap Japan and make it real for Japan. They're like, no, just cancel it! Just cancel it! <laughs> just, just get it anyway! They're, yeah, they're not gonna do it, first of all, but secondly, I, yeah, like, maybe delay the game by a year or two years and uh, make it, like, make it actually respectful to Japan, right? Like, come on now, what, what, what are we doing here, bruh? right from there saying that there's a lack of it that it's not you know a samurai was somebody of upper class a slave is not upper class i'm sorry if you think that's bigoted but it's facts that's why they were called slaves now again at this time of writing and every time i refresh we're seeing that it's increasing it went from 18,457 to 18,497 so i'm sure 8, 000, the more people, people that cover oh. this the bigger that is going to be coming out now oh yeah yeah, yeah we yeah, also yeah. had uh just recently the Ubisoft CEO condemned hateful acts against developers following AC Shadow's backlash. And he said, <laughs> he said this exact quote, and this is in response to all this stuff, I guess because Sweet Baby Inc.'s getting a lot of heat, Ubisoft's getting a lot of heat because of Star Wars Outlaws and Assassin's Creed Shadows. Because yeah, we're getting yeah. community managers that are saying and doing a lot of stupid shit. Like, you can't be racist against white people, and they're just being right. all around insufferable and banning people on discords and, uh, you know, YouTube, Twitter. What, what I'm realizing and what I'm learning from all of this is that the more they try to do it, the more people are going to talk against it, right? It, it's like, the, 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 if you try to hold on to water, the water is going to find its way out. You just cannot hold the water permanently. The water is going to make its way out, bruh. That's what is going on right now. They're all woke infectoids, if that's even a, a word. They're all people infected hey, the game community on, with their fucking DEI nonsense. Time and, on, papi, time uh, on. We had a couple of these community... Tranquilo, tranquilo, papi chulo. Tranquilo, time out, papi. Time, time out, papi. Andrew's involved with Ubisoft. We've had people with Sweet Baby Inc. trying to get websites shut down and contacting wives and stuff. So, of course, there's a lot of heat. There's a lot of venom on both sides. But you can see 
The CEO said, one thing I'm concerned about right now is the malicious and personal online attacks that have been directed at some of our team members and partners. I want to make it clear that we at Ubisoft condemn these hateful acts in the strongest possible terms, and I encourage the rest of the industry and players to denounce them too. Now, okay, there's a difference between personal attacks, death threats, and stuff like that but then yeah. there's legit criticism legit feedback yeah yeah, yeah, yeah. I, I'm, I'm certain like some people are definitely sending them heaven proposals guys like come on man like don't like yeah i mean damn bro like we all out here we're trying to be like uh, we're having discussion here in a civil way people are criticizing which is perfectly fine you can like or dislike a game for whatever thing you like or dislike everybody has the right free speech baby that's what it is okay like it's a product it's a game it's not gonna be for free bruh like yeah right like come on man everybody has the right to criticize a product so for whatever reason you can have any reason uh to like it or not like it right and you can speak uh, your mind you can uh definitely criticize the game but given if you're not like threatening or anything like that yeah don't 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 send them heaven proposals and i'm pretty sure like it's just some bad apples that are sending heaven proposals majority sees the game for what it is and the majority is like bro like okay we're, we're not gonna buy the sky is green bull squash okay like hey, come on now man like you, you cannot just change it uh the, the the history you cannot change the history like this and, and think that nobody's gonna talk about it of course not right so yeah people are having legitimate criticisms and yeah that that's perfectly fine so I, i'm pretty sure that they, they are just uh hating what they're seeing online oh absolutely Act legit backlash but don't play like you're community managers and developers and people that some of y'all hire are innocent i've seen some of the hateful insufferable stuff that they've been tweeting does that call for death threats against them absolutely not no no but no no guys y'all aren't innocent in any of this <laughs> you know you guys aren't innocent in any of this at all now do i think that this petition is going to cause the game to not launch absolutely <laughs> nah. not this game's coming out <laughs> november we just hit july yeah. 1st today but it's definitely oh, gonna get man. a lot of fun. It's not. It's not. Yeah, exactly. Right. It, it's crazy to me that the homies are like, "Oh man, do not release it." <laughs> that is okay for the meme content. Okay for the meme value. I love it. But realistically, they're gonna release the game though. So. Backlash. Now we're seeing, uh, you know, calls for discontinuation. We're seeing people in the comments basically calling them out. Like you see, the top one says, "We fabricated a blank space in history." The old lady in the thumbnail used the word historical a lot in an interview with IGN last month and claimed that it was based on historical facts. Bruh. So it's unreasonable to call it fantasy now. Isn't it discrimination that Japanese people are not included in we? Mm. You see, so they're basically going to embellish on mm. Yusuke's historical accuracy because they just admitted that there's not enough known about him, but there's enough to be creative about it later on. So we're going to see some over-the-top bullshit, like I'm saying, he's going to be related. And, and, and them being creative starts with with him being gay. So, of course, like they, they just literally changed both of the characters' identities. Like, yeah, and we're talking Feudal Japan, bro. Like, this isn't even a game that is set like modern times right now or uh, futuristic or anything like that. We're talking Feudal Japan. It's like the same thing, right? Like, if they were to make a game on you in 100 years from now, and what if they made you you watching this video gay and you were not right like how are how are you gonna feel uh, sitting up there and looking down at this effing rock uh like this earth right like this rock of a planet it, yeah it, it's just disrespectful on so many different levels bro but check out this video on the screen i'm not sure if you guys were able to catch up or not we recently got update new information coming out about this doctor disrespect drama that's going on check this video out if you have already seen it then check out the video on the left